Well, now this is our actually main topic how this e commerce field is related with artificial intelligence and how these Amazon Flipkart e commerce companies are using artificial intelligence in which field. So, these are the five fields where artificial intelligence is being used chatbots, creating chatbots, and a personal shopping assistant, easy search, fraud detection, supply chain management, and so on. So, we'll be discussing these five sectors in depth how they are using. So talking about AI transforming shopping experience, so we, as a result, you know that COVID-19 pandemic, many businesses had to shut down without further notice. Luckily, firms with a significant online presence, the companies who do have their online presence, they are selling products online, continue to serve their customers in uncertain times. It showed the significance of e-commerce platforms because uh, our businesses were able to attain economic stability through them, right? But uh, with social distancing and lockdown in uh, place, companies heavily relied on these e-commerce sites to run their business and to maintain their revenues, as I've discussed earlier. So currently, a large number of people are working from home because of COVID-19 lockdowns and restrictions. Still, people are working. Still, some restrictions are there. It has left customers with no choice other than online shopping. So customers who were reluctant to buy online and uh, comfortable uh, now with e-commerce since the pandemic isn't going anywhere anytime soon so their uh, online buying intent will grow even more due to safe and hassle free purchasing process where there is no crowd so e-commerce has also created many employment opportunities for individual having uh, suitable qualifications so e-commerce companies like amazon flipkart are always on the lookout for hiring new talent who have uh, the necessary skills to start it as soon as possible without training by these so like a uh, startup companies so fortunately it isn't just the business working online but they have uh, other many fields as well so we'll be discussing all those things in uh, in depth so the use of ai in online shopping transforming the e-commerce industry by predicting shopping patterns based on products that shoppers buy and when they buy them so for example if an online shoppers frequently buy a product brand of rice right week Every week, rice like India Gate, you can take example of. Then the online retailer could send a personalized offer to these shoppers of this product or even use a machine learning enabled recommendation for a supplementary product that goes well with these rice dishes. And talking about chatbots, this is also a very important topic which e commerce companies are using, creating chatbots so that they don't have to hire employees who are working day shift, night shift. So they, they can provide 24 by 7 support or the customer support to their online shoppers or the customers. So build these chatbots are built by using AI technologies. Chatbots are getting more intuitive and are enabling a better customer experience. The natural language processing is the part that can interpret voice based inter interactions with consumer. So e-commerce is basically pure service business that demands utmost patience and uh, to survive the industry ever growing competition. So the goal is to help shoppers find good products. If Amazon is like selling good products, people are going to go again and again to buy the same product there, right? And provide an exceptional customer experience that converts them into repeat buyers. So visitors behavior on your website or on these websites like e-commerce website serves as a, as you can say, a valuable source of insights at every stage of an e-commerce. So what makes uh, or breaks the deal of these businesses depends on uh, optimization to improve their shopping experience and the conversation rate of these products as well. So that's why uh, we have these chatbots to provide 24 by 7 services to their customers. Now, intelligent uh, product recommendation, if you have ever used e-commerce websites, I hope you have. So you must have seen whenever you are like searching, you are willing to buy a product and you are looking in depth for that particular product. So you must be seeing that suppose you are trying to buy a black t-shirt. So when you will click on a black t-shirt just to see the size, select the size and to read about the product, what's the quality, etc. As soon as you will scroll down, you will see some things like that customers who bought this item are also. You recently viewed these items, so you have already seen these items, but you haven't bought yet. What other items do customers buy after viewing this item? So they are going to give the feedback also that they have given this product as a four star, four star like that. So among the major applications of artificial intelligence in e-commerce, personalized product recommendation like if I'm not uh, if you're not liking this product, you can scroll down. You can like, might you will like this product, might you will like this product like that. They are going to show you so that you will click on this and 
according to your price range, according to the quality of the product, you are going to buy that. So the use of AI in e-commerce is impacting customer choices by learning its knowledge of previous purchases, search products, and online browsing habits. So these e-commerce websites do have your um, do have your history as well, like what you are searching but you are not buying. There comes heat maps. We'll talk heat maps as well. So AI personalization in e-commerce also now. Suppose you have already bought a book. Okay, you read about the marbles. Suppose the the book you have bought the book of the marbles. Okay, and there are so many books of the marbles. So uh, suppose you bought a book and you read that, and you want to buy another book again. So once you will go back, you will come back to the same e-commerce website. They are going to give you more suggestions what you have bought earlier. So this is AI personalization is e-commerce because they have the history of yours. Okay, what you are searching, what you have bought, which you have bought, they are going to show you show those products again related to those things again, so that you can buy the product again. So websites that recommends items you might like based on your previous purchase are using machine learning to analyze your buying history. Higher number of returning customers, these are the advantages or benefits of this AI personalized e-commerce where they are getting repeating customers again and again, improved customer retention and sales, which increases the revenues of these e-commerce companies and businesses. A personalized shopping experience to online shoppers and enables a personalized business email campaign. Also, they can email these companies can email you that we have a new product related to what you have bought earlier. Now, this is the very, very, very important topic in e-commerce. This is every e-commerce is trying to use heat map of e-commerce website. So heat maps are nothing, but it's a uh, what you can say a data visualization technique that shows magnitude of a phenomenon as a color in two dimensions. So visitors behavior on your website serves as a valuable source of insight every stage of e-commerce. So most marketers suggest using multiple uh, qualitative and quantitative analytics tool like heat maps to do so. So however, not all of them have the powers to give you the kind of information you need to study user experience. So that's why these companies have to use e-commerce just to analyze your history, why you are clicking on in which part and why you are not buying the product or why you are not taking that action. So e-commerce is nothing but heat commerce help these e-commerce web uh, heat maps help these companies of e-commerce websites to get a deeper insight into users behavior by highlighting behavior and the cause for them taking or not taking certain certain actions actions like you are seeing the product but you are not buying or if you are buying it why you are not buying it again like that so there are usually three types of heat maps click heat maps eye tracking heat maps and scroll tracking heat maps so uh, these are the heat maps first talk about first we'll be talking about click heat maps here as you can see in the sample they are uh, divided into the variation of two colors which may be by hue or intensity the green uh, the red color and the green color so red color is the color which is based on this click heat map the more clicks a certain button or spots get the hotter it will be displayed in the heat map so if a person is like cursor is here okay or no it, click heat map is all about clicking so, like if i'm clicking on ebay and then a new page appeared and then again i'm clicking on this part only on the top left side then again a new page appeared i'm clicking on this side so they are going to see that so that is what that they are going to track it with the click heat maps now eye tracking heat maps is basically tracking your cursor this cursor which i'm dragging so tracking cursor movements and indicating the eye movement of each user is was is what click track eye tracking heat map is now, if my cursor is here and it stayed for a minute, but I'm not clicking anywhere, so they are going to replace it with red color. Now, again, I'm here. Uh, my cursor is stayed, but I'm not taking any action. So they are going to track that. Okay. Even if I'm, uh, this is a shop now button. Okay. It's it's a bit blurred, but uh, my cursor is here and I'm not clicking on it. So they are going to track the behavior of your cursor, where your cursor is going, is what eye tracking heat map is. Because wherever your cursor is going, your eye is going that way only. So tracking all your behavior just by your interface, your screen, is what these heat map is. Now scroll tracking heat maps is an example to change the web page or the website of the companies of these organizations. For example, if a person is trying to buy something, but for to buy that they have to register on the platform on the Amazon Flipkart. So what if the product is there, but if your sign up button 
sign up button is uh, all the way at the bottom of the web page and the scrolling heat map indicates that the most of the users don't even scroll down to it so it should move up so just to scroll button you must have seen a bar here so that is what scroll tracking heat map is like how many people are scrolling down on which product how many people are not even going down like that so this is what a scrolling heat map is this is a sample of red color and green color as you can see we have already discussed so it's a very important topic which is expanding in these organization and companies like amazon and flipkart so I powered heat map tools there are different tools also so website heat map tools accurately predicts how visitors see and navigate on a web page and what they focus on the most so heat maps allows you the website owner to arrange the elements of your website in a way that maximizes conversations in other words you can see exactly where your main call to action should go so the bullseye of the visitor's attention is one of the examples so you can also use ai heat map tools and immediately optimize the website or online store as you're building it with a little help of ai as you can see here this is written a add to cart the person is clicking here he's again seeing how what the gene says what the category etc so it's written time spent total time spent etc so they can get like where the maximum time is spent in the page is all about heat maps now inventory management this is what i was talking about which is a very very important topic so e-commerce inventory management is the art of measuring the amount the location pricing of the product and mix of products available available from uh, the businesses so this could be products hosted by your own warehouse or the warehouses of these companies which are provided through a third party logistic system which we have discussed the drop shipping system e-cart and uh, delivery and etc so through e-commerce inventory management businesses knows what products are overstocked or what products are in stock or what products are under stock or out of stock and they need to get in stock so all about stocks, how much stock they have and to fulfill that demand is what inventory management is. I'll give you a good example of this thing. Like these companies, Amazon and Flipkart, they do uh, provide lots of offers or sales are there when some occasion of festival comes. Like as far as I know, the big billion sale in Flipkart comes and then in Amazon also some, some offer comes uh, when some festival comes, right? Like on Diwali or Dashaira. So uh, they, they usually for a few products like cell phones or some electronic devices or the big, big devices, they uh, decrease the price of that, right? So uh, it might be possible that if uh, in, Flip, in Flipkart, 100 people are registered there, it might be possible that out of five, out of 100, five people or five customers are going to buy some product. So at least they should have that much of product in stock just to provide the sale. This is what inventory management is. And people cannot like see uh, manually see how much stock they have. So they need artificial intelligence to maintain this. So in inventory management is closely tied to a company's financials. In any given large warehouse, warehouse big warehouses of Flipkart and Amazon, they have to give you a bird eye view of the amount revenues potential of every other pallet of the product. So from there, businesses can make more informed decisions around these strategies like marketing and uh, how much uh, stocks they have by logistics and analytics, uh, which are going to play a large part in this inventory management. So sales, they can also track by sales, how much product they have sold. Like if I talk about iPhone 12, how much product related to that they have sold in the last previous year related to different categories. If I talk about uh, managing these so there are this management can greatly harm your business if you haven't analyzed this, uh, if these companies like amazon and flipkart didn't analyze this thing like how much uh, uh, product they have so if customers aren't getting their products in the time they anticipated or if you are selling products at a rate you can't fulfill you are damaging the relationship that you are attempting to build with your customers and your suppliers right so fixing mistakes associates with inventory management can, can cost businesses like Amazon and Flipkart a lot. So both in terms of loss of revenues in sales and in the form of dead stock, it happens. So if you, if you get your inventory management strategy right by this analyzing predictive analytics for sale forecasting, your business will gain an advantage with more intelligence around buying behavior of the customers. So in addition to, to uh, newfound understanding of where your products are in their life cycle is what predictive analytics comes 
using machine learning uh, to predict outcomes using historical data as you can see in the graph this graph is created by using machine learning which can then use what it learns to predict future patterns like uh, they have the data how much they have sell a particular product in the month of march 400 and they have the amount uh, amount of february march april and the product is increasing right so they can they can predict like by 2021 we can uh, the sales will be around 1400 right in the month of june so they can predict if this prediction is they have it will help a business a lot in the in terms of revenues okay so here as you can see ai supply chain is helping to deliver the powerful optimization capabilities required for more accurate capacity planning improved productivity high quality lower cost and greater output all while fostering safer working conditions so if a product they have they can create a graph by creating that analytics uh, predictive analytics supply chain as well so this is what done by artificial intelligence and machine learning like what is the demand what is the price is there a demand of supply we have to increase or not what's the quantity etc and as you can see this video this is actually the robots actual robots which are developed by robotics engineer that have worked hard over the last few decades to mesh new technologies developments like artificial intelligence with automated robotic technologies innovative companies that have warehouses in their supply chain love the result that effective automation can do. also this is removing labor cost by 70 percent for these companies amazon and flipkart these are done by themselves there is no like day shift and night shift of the employees your warehouse operates during the day with and night with equal cost the inventory accounts are updated daily so this is already developed in foreign countries like united states and united kingdom and India is also trying to develop such kind of a thing in future. If I, uh, and if I talk about automation versus intelligence, automation is repeating a process again and again, the same process. Like if I know how to create a car, there are a few steps. Like these are the 10 steps. First, you have to do this. Then second, you have to do that and so on. So there are different steps which you have to, uh, which you have to follow again and again. Basically, a routine job is what automation is. So this can be developed by robot as well. And intelligence is something different. Like I can give you an example of like Telsa. Telsa companies are trying to create a driverless car where there will be no steering, nothing. It just, there will be a screen. You just have to, uh, they are going to track your current location by GPS. And then you just have to enter your uh, destination and the car is going to drop you. No need of driver, no need of you to drive, nothing. This is what intelligence is. Like how to drive a car is what intelligence is. That's not a routine job. It's different. It's what you have to use intelligence. Now talking about fraud of e-commerce, this is also a very important topic because fraud is also happening a lot in these uh, websites like Amazon and Flipkart. There are usually five types of fraud. Card testing fraud is what when someone gains access to one or more stolen credit card numbers through theft or by purchasing card data on a dark web. Now friendly fraud is a fraud when someone purchases an item or service online and then request a char a charge back from the payment processor claiming the transaction was invalid then comes refund fraud which is when someone uses a stolen credit card or a debit card to make a purchase on an e-commerce website then the frost uh, fraudster then contacts the e-commerce business like amazon and flipkart and requests a reimbursement due to the accidental overpayment account takeover fraud is uh, occurs when Someone gains access to a user's account on an e-commerce store's or website is account takeover fraud. Interception fraud is when fraudster place orders on an e-commerce website where the billing address and shipping address match the information linked to a stolen credit card. Once the order is placed, the goal is to intercept the package and take the goods for themselves, whatever they have ordered. Okay, so just to track these kind of frauds, these five kind of frauds, these companies like Amazon and Flipkart are trying to detect these kind of frauds by using ai and how so e-commerce fraud is a type of fraud that occurs when an e-commerce platform using a stolen or fake credit card using a false identity so artificial intelligence solution analyzes hundreds of data points from millions of transactions to identify patterns that might constitute fraud so they often find patterns that human beings would miss like the main idea behind this is that fraudulent transactions have very different characteristics from the legitimate ones. 
So machine learning al algorithms comes here that can recognize these patterns in the data, enabling them to detect orders from fraudsters. So the behavior analytics they are going to check, like by machine learning algorithms, the registered behavior or the, the registered users, they can check the behavior of these customers. So it is easy for them to notice any deviations and spot suspicious behavior. If a person is using a single payment method every time they buy a product like cash and delivery only, so they are going to check that patterns. Now categorization is machine learning is also a very, very good concept where you have seen there are uh, just to filter your options. This is thing. This is there. In machine learning classification refers to a predictive model problem where a class label is predicted for a given example of input data. So for modeling perspective, classification requires a training data set with many examples of inputs and outputs from which to learn. A model will use the training, will use the training data set and will calculate how the best map examples of input data of specified class level are. And now you must suppose you are trying, let's take an example of a particular thing like a footwear. Now, if you're planning to buy a footwear online from these e-commerce site, you must have your willingness or your points like uh, you want a footwear, which should be comfortable. Uh, there shouldn't be any, uh, there should be pump, doctor pump, which should be comfortable and like easy to walk. And then it should be a sneaker. There shouldn't be any heels. It should be a flat. So how can you get, you have to find a lot get that exact product you buy with uh, include which which can include these points so there comes filter option so filter is what categorization and machine learning is which our e-commerce companies are using so whenever you are searching for a product you must have seen a filter icon where you can select these options like you need a comfort which color you want which size you want etc and then they are going to filter that account and they are going to show relevant results according to that is what 